Every time I show myself here, I'm always squinting because it's so bright and sunny. So this is this is the room I usually stay in, and it's uh, it's oh, it's got lots of stuff on it at the moment <laughs> at Christine's house, and uh, it used to be Ruth's room a long time ago. I suppose it's delivering. It's another angled boys lamp. No, it seems to be the theme of the weekend, but they've actually angled it. So if you wake up, <laughs> it's like you it makes you really paranoid. It's like staring straight at you. <laughs> but a slight disapproving difference, even, <laughs> no. though, even though angle poison lamps don't actually have expressions. That one does, yeah. it's like it's disapproving. It's, 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 a, it's doing a kind of this look, it's doing <laughs> <laughs> so you, you think So you think you're all that, do you? <laughs> but uh, I must say, it's going to be, it's going to be kind of, it's going to be kind of weird, um, sort of uh, coming, coming here as home, because mm. it's kind of like, it's kind of like not my home in a way. Mm. I know, but if you've got to get out of Redlands, you might as well come somewhere equally as nice. Yeah, 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 with a nice garden, very lovely mm. garden. So, yeah. but yeah, it's going to be weird because it's like I've got all the memories in Beacon Hill. I'm not here. Yeah, <laughs> this is someone else's room. It's not my room. <laughs> This is the philosophy bench. A memory of Jim Henry, 1903 to 1980. And this was this was the bench we used to come to to talk about deep stuff. Um, and it was good because basically, you know, you only had to walk like a minute down the road and back again. It was great. It's a lazy philosophy bench. It is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Yeah. Right, and film it again. So it's yes. like infinite regression. And then we need to film that one again. <laughs> Almost bare. Oh my god, it's almost an empty Just shop. Like me. Oh look, look at look, Tim attempted to take down the train spotting poster. <laughs> Poor old Begby. And uh, taking down the Ulysses. No. There's a huge void in my life, look at that. And look, god. look, look, look. <laughs> Otherwise, it is gone. It is gone. And these all these tapes are going. So, um, these are staying. Mm. But yeah, nothing else you can think of. No. Nice. We'll oh. try. We'll try. We'll try and do some like, like uh, memories of the room and all that stuff. And um, I don't know. It all centres around this little computer desk here, where we used to come up and used to play with this uh, uh, Amiga. And what did we used to play? We used to play Zork, uh, uh, Rainbow Island. Rainbow Island. And we used to play on Med, which the is Med. a music tracker. So we used to do music up here, like fizz bang you can <laughs> Tracks that mostly probably would never hear. I uh, know. No, it's, it's probably best. Probably though. best that way. Um, did you actually throw all those sample discs away? Yes, yeah. I threw hundreds of yeah, samples away. Yeah, he had he had um, he had he had hundreds of discs of samples on the media. Like and he had speak backups and spell as well. and yeah. uh, the, the BBC sound effects library and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. And we used to all, uh, all sampled in wonderful 8-bit quality. Yeah, and we uh, used to have, uh, he, he then upgraded to a PC, and we used to just like play old arcade games. Ten best, ten best yourself, ten best yourself. I remember, I remember playing that like after one Christmas. I think it's like Christmas 2000. Like, we just like sat there to about four or five in the morning. Snowing. Is that the one I actually? I, was, I actually ran into your room and went, "It's snowing." No, I, I think that, that was that was a later that was a later one. That was that was a nice surprise. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was sweet at the time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I remember. Um, 
there was a point, it was August 1995, it's like James was up, we've been to the Chinese restaurant, we came up, came back, just eating, and we actually listened to the radio, the Top 40 Countdown, because we wanted to hear who got to number one, if it's Blur or Oasis. Oh well, yeah, the Blur Oasis Country so House. I think I was so there, the radio was here, roll with someone it. else, I think you two had the chairs or something, it was just like listening to who was the... Um, and Yoko was there, John, yeah. Lennon, John Lennon was there, Paul McCartney <laughs> was there. Um, and this is the, this Gandhi is, was over there. Gandhi was over there, except that we didn't let him in, there. we didn't yeah. like him very much. He, he had a strange distress. And this is the wardrobe I fell into when we were recording uh, our Charlie sessions, as we called them. Mm. Yeah, it's, it, was, it had a lot more kind of innocent ring back in the day. Back yeah, in, we went Charlie the Cat, as yeah. in... What as, did you think? We went? Uh, well, <laughs> we went we went Charlie the Cat as in the, the one that we're at safety commercials. So, uh, we mixed it with something called Jump Philomena, Philom Philomena, 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 yeah. uh, Philomena, which is uh, John Johnny Ball. Mm. We, we decided to mix the two, and I I, I just remember falling into that and laughing and giggling because I. I uh, uh, as you do, um, because I've just, I just I was trying to, re I had to just done the punchline and went straight into there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it wasn't even that good a punchline there. Oi. I think I think around there, around Christmas time, once we we spilled loads of brandy batter and stuff, we were just giggling over the fact that you were. Uh, your whole room would just like really appeal to kind of alcoholics. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> but it smelled nice. It smelled it nice. nice. Well, I always remember sort of just sort of lying here. <laughs> always, used to to, we always used to. At night, you used to put your bedside lamp on. It was yeah. Kind of, I'd, I'd sit there. You'd lie on the bed and we'd like listen to kind of really uh, depressing chill out music like Portishead and stuff. Yeah. Like that, which is the only time we ever listened to that kind of music. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. You can only listen to it with an angle poised lamp on in the middle of the night. <laughs> and drunk. Pretty, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, there's my. Yamaha PSS 5 Yeah, yeah. that's another thing we love. We used to do we used to do music on that, which is like you know really got a cheap one professional keyboard. But, you know. but no, it's great because we used, we used to hook that up via MIDI to the Amiga, and um, it just sounded like a robot because there's no like quantum. It's, it's like, like don 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 don. <laughs> and I'm sure once when James was up, didn't we have a speaker which we connected? Yes, and we played the tree. We played, and then when people used to go passing by, we used to like to call out to them or something stupid like that. Yeah. yeah, we used to play music to them and, and samples from the media. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mm. those trees are growing, aren't they? I know that used to be a very tiny tree, and there used to be a rowan tree behind them. Mm. Yeah, these these both both small Christmas trees, and they've just kind of gone a bit mental, really. Mm. It was always kind of sitting in your room, kind of with music on, chatting or something, and yeah. kind of drinking all that. But it's, it's just kind of you know really nice to do that. It's like a really kind of chilled out room. If you get depression from it, it just looks like a complete <laughs> mess, doesn't it, viewer? But it was it was nice. It's like um, our mate James actually said something to me once. I don't think he said it to Tim. <laughs> I know Tim might have killed him, but it was it was nice. You come here and it's like some junk shop. You always find something fascinating or something you'd, you'd, you'd forgotten about. It's, it's like an old kind of charity shop, but uh, stroke toy museum. Well, I was singing know. earlier. Yeah, I was singing along to Pulp's Mile End because you used to sing it. Um, what was it? You used to, <laughs> Tim's used to change, it to, change it to say yeah. Tim's room. Yeah. You know, it's all about these. Yeah. This oh, rats, it's a rats, complete rats, mess. It's, it's Tim's, Tim's room. room. <laughs> and there was that joke about the fact that if there was an earthquake here, things would fall onto yeah. the, <laughs> under the shelves. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very true. No, it's like, it's like there is there is a chance if there was an earthquake here, it, it would actually tidy things up. Yeah. <laughs> goodbye, Tim's room. Yeah, goodbye, Tim's room. Mm. That's my room. Sorry. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. See you later. Room. Bye. See you in a, yeah, See another lifetime. Another. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, Terms of universe. If I get if I get a million dollars, I come back and buy the place. Yeah. I'll Turn it all into Tim's room. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye, childhood. <laughs> Is it still? Yeah, thanks childhood. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for loads of Garfield posters, I swear. <laughs> Just what I needed. End of an era. Mm. You determined to let the tape run out? Yeah, I am. <laughs>